today I've got a slightly less wearable look for you again. Um, I still try to keep a balance between the wearable looks and the not so very wearable looks, but I don't know. I just love wearing looks like these and doing looks like these, you know, the more extreme looks. So yeah, I've sort of a tendency to go for those sort of looks more often. Anyway, um, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, this uh, makeup was inspired by the movie Leverwind, which is one of my favorite movies. Um, more specifically, inspired by the makeup that the Goblin King wore, which you probably, you know, probably guessed if you've seen the movie, and if not, then yeah. You can always look it up. Um, yeah, anyway, I uh, really like... When I look at a movie, I think most people who love makeup will recognize that. When I look at a movie and I see an extreme makeup, I just really like... Or just like a really cool makeup. A makeup that stands out to me, pretty much. Then I always sort of like... Start looking like, how did they do that? I want to do that too, and yeah. So, I thought it'd be fun to do more like movie inspired makeup looks in the future, and this will be the first. So, yeah, let's get started. As usual, I started out with the Maybelline Color to do, but this time I used both Creme de Rose um, in the crease, and yeah, pretty much all the way up to the eyebrow. And then also used Infinite White. Uh, mine unfortunately sort of dried out so I need to buy a new one sometime soon um, But yeah, like um, I don't know how much of a difference it made in the end that I actually Applied this from like the inner corner to the eyebrow But if you're using eyeshadows that aren't very pigmented then this can really make a difference But I used the Urban Decay Vice XX palette And I started out with the shade Shallow Which is pretty much a shimmery sort of grey color not really silver, actually grey. Um, yeah, I just wanted to keep the color sort of neutral. So I pretty much applied this all the way to the eyebrow. It felt very like sort of against nature. At first to like sort of completely disregard the crease and just put it all the way up to the eyebrow. Not even bothering to highlight and yeah. Um, but yeah, I actually think it started to look cool as soon as I added the black. Um, this is oil slick. It's sort of... It was more of a shimmery dark grey with silver glitters in it. Um, I think it's the perfect shade to actually map out where the darkest part is going to be. Simply because it's not super dark. So yeah, if you do make a mistake, it's still fixable. And it's just very easy to blend as well. I always think when using black, um, it's just yeah very important to get it to crease. Or get it to crease, get it to blend well. Not crease well, what? Get it to blend well, yeah. And yeah, so pretty much it started out with making sure that both the eyes were even. You know, just like with winged eyeliner, but bigger. And actually somehow easier. And then once I was finally, finally happy with that, I just started to sort of blend it inwards. As you can see me doing here, and again I'm just completely ignoring the crease, like in the look in the movie, you know, they didn't really do much with the crease either, so I decided to just stick to that, and yeah, just pretty much blend it all in one line. And I'm still like sort of applying eyeshadow here, and just making sure that both sides are equally dark. It's pretty much what took me the longest. And then once I was finally happy with it, I just grabbed a fluffy blending brush and started blending it only up and down. I didn't want to go from the left to the right because I didn't want it to be too... Yeah, I don't know. I just still, I still wanted to have like sort of a border there, just not a harsh line. Um, so yeah, then also applied it underneath my eye a little. And then instead of finishing the eye first, I actually did the eyebrows first because I actually need to know where my eyebrows are going to be. Before I actually finish off the uh, eye makeup. And again it's very against nature to not make the little corner at the end of the eyebrow. To just go straight to the side. Even upwards a little. It just felt really, 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 really uncomfortable. But I do actually sort of like the result. To my surprise I thought I was going to like completely... You know, feel ridiculous, but I actually sort of like it. I actually went outside wearing this look, and I don't think people looked at me that weirdly, or maybe I just didn't notice. Anyway, so yeah, I just combed it through as well, just to make sure that the eyebrow stuff that I used wasn't too harsh. Um, all the stuff I used, by the way, will be underneath the video as usual, and yeah. 
you know, including the stuff I used on my face. And then it's time to go back to the eyes. Um, I used Road Stripe, which is a pale shimmery shade. Again, if you don't like, like what I pretty much say in every video, if you don't have this particular eyeshadow palette, you can always use other eyeshadows that actually, you know, just have the same color. Uh, then for the blackest part, I used the Carice Cake Eyeliner. And as the name says, it's actually a cake eyeliner, but it's also a very, very good black eyeshadow. Only thing is, you need to... Uh, you, oh, well, talking is difficult in the morning. Anyway, you do need to be careful when applying it. It can sort of have fallout if you don't like tap of the brush well enough. Um, also, I always sort of already blend it while applying it because otherwise it's just almost impossible to blend. Um, this is also, by the way, where it's very important to have the sort of dark gray shade underneath it. Because it just makes blending a whole lot easier. And yeah. Again, just keep applying it until both eyes look relatively even. Which, finally, they did. And then I just also uh, applied a little bit underneath my... Or on top of my upper lash line. Yeah. I didn't want to completely do the same thing as the movie. I did want to make it a little bit more feminine. So yeah, I did want my eyelashes to stand out. And I also did that on the lower lash line. But, you know, a little bit less dark. And then for mascara, surprise, surprise, I used the Rimmel Scandalized Liga Flex Mascara. And I just applied a whole bunch of it on my top lashes. You could just use uh, falsies as well. But uh, personally, I prefer to just use a whole lot of mascara. And then also apply a little bit underneath or on top of my lower lashes. Duh. And yeah, then I uh, went onto my face. I used Gold Deposit by MAC. Which is really pretty, but I do need to be very light-handed with it. Otherwise, I just turn into some sort of gold disco ball thing. Um, so yeah, I was very light-handed with it, but I just applied it on my cheekbones and also on my forehead, sort of, as if it was a shimmery bronzer. And then I used this highlighter by Makeup Academy, with sort of a dense brush. And yeah, it is a beautiful highlighter. Um, unfortunately, somehow, my lighting just doesn't make it show up pretty much at all, as you can see, probably, well, you know, can't see, really. But yeah, I just highlighted with it pretty much everywhere where you can highlight. And then went on to the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And specifically the only non-very pigmented shade in it, the Silver Glitter. Because I wanted some glitter. And as long as I don't apply too much of it, it doesn't turn out grey on me. So I pretty much just went over all highlights with it. Because, you know, Labyrinth and Glitter and yeah. I just wanted a lot of shimmering glitter. And yeah, that actually shows up in my lighting. And then lastly, I used a fixing spray, uh, one by NYX, to keep everything that I want to be matte, matte. Also, it doesn't taste very good. Yep. And then it was time for the lips, uh, which is the final part. I used uh, Reach the Peach, the lip liner. Mostly because of the name. People who've seen the movie will, you know, understand that. And also because the lipstick I'm using um, isn't very pigmented. Like, it's... It's a very nice lipstick, but it doesn't like it doesn't cover completely. So I do want to have a you know nice lip line, and uh, the lip pencil happens to be the most nude one I have. And the lipstick is thrown by um, Makeup Revolution from the Unicorns Unite lipsticks. As you can see, it's a shimmery sort of subtle purple. I don't know how to describe the color, but I think it fitted the makeup look very well. And yeah, that's pretty much the final step. This is the finished look. Um, actually, it took me far less time than I thought it would. Like, I thought it would take me a lot of time and it only took me about an hour, including the face. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye! Revolution Fixing Spray. And as you can see, it makes it a lot more shimmery and a lot more intense. Really cool. And then I used it the exact same.